Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And I'm here to look into this experiment and this experiment involved growing Diefenbachias with wristwatches in their roots. So in the roots of this one is an analog watch like this one. In the roots of this plant right here we have an analog and digital watch. So you can see that we've got the analog face and at the bottom of the analog face is a digital display. And in this one we have a digital watch like this one. So something similar to that is in the base of this plant. And you can clearly see by looking at them that the, the one that's doing the best growth is the one that has the analog wristwatch. Now, the one that's got the worst growth right now is the watch with the dual display. And I will say, one of the mistakes I made when I set up this experiment uh, was that I used a watch with a metal strap. So it's unclear whether the metal strap has done this to the plant by acting as a radio frequency antenna system, or whether maybe it's creating a voltage in the pot through battery effects with the soil. But something's going on with this plant, and this plant is pretty stressed. So I'm going to redo this experiment this time with all three watches with resin straps so that we can get a very good overview as to what actually happens with the plants. But you can clearly see that this one here, it's one of the tallest plants that I've grown in the home. And the other two, they're maybe about half the height. This one's about half the height of this one right here. So it's doing better, but it's not perfect. And it also has the small deformed leaves. As you can see on this one, the leaves are a little bit larger. And it's in the process of replacing its leaves right now. But we had the patterning in there. And this is what the Diefenbachia looks like when you bring it into the home. So you bring a Diefenbachia into the home from the shops, it comes in looking like this. So you have leaves the size of your hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart this experiment with all watches with resin straps. And I'm not going to redo this one because I'm quite confident that this one works looking at the plant because that plant is very, very unusual to get in my home. So what I'm going to do with the analog plant this time is I'm going to put two watches in. So we're going to, they're identical models of watch. The face is the only difference between these two watches. The MW600 Casio watches. And I'm going to put two into one pot and we're going to see whether a doubling of the pulses that this watch emits affects the plant in a beneficial or a negative way. And along with those two watches, we're going to put one with this analog watch. And we're going to put this digital watch into one of these plants as well. So three plants are going to have the watches in the base and we're going to have one control. So one is going to have nothing in the base. Um, we're going to watch this experiment. We're going to see what happens. So that's our new experiment and our results from our old experiment. And as soon as I have any new information, I will do another video. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.